Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sure you guys remember this car. Guts is clean. Car dirty, but guts, guts is clean. For those of you that don't know, this is Black Widow. 96 Impala has a 5.3 4L60E. Uh, this car was previously on my channel and um, somebody else did a swap. I came and kind of cleaned it up and all that. As you can see, it's right back dirty again. So um, he wants me to do a complete swap. He wants to take everything out and just do everything brand new. So I was like, all right, cool. So he went as far as taking this. We've taken this 5.3 4060 out and putting a 6.0 4080 in he went in a totally different direction so now what we about to do is basically get, uh, basically get started on this today this car right here is going to be an in and out job for sure hold me to it hold me to it you guys know i know b body's like the back of my head i know g body's like the back of my head but sometimes you run into certain issues the only thing the only issue i can see running into this vehicle right here The only issue I can see us running into on this vehicle right here is the fact that he's doing a 4L ADE transmission. So with that being said, um, we're getting a cross member, but the cross member got lost in the mail, blah, 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 and it's taking forever to get back to us. And I have to get a dry shaft made. So I mean, other than that, that's pretty much it, man. That's probably the only two things that's gonna slow me down. Other than that, man, we are gonna be in this thing, tripping ASAP. So. Almost that time. I am so exhausted. It's hot out here. I am super hot out here. What the hell is that? Some chips. Yep. Let's finish it. An hour and a half later, almost two hours. I'm still in the same position. And I'll tell you why. Cause this stupid ass jack. Oh, God dang man, this freaking little dumbass cut on my hand, man. Hurt like crazy, but y'all see, it ain't going nowhere. So, dumbass jack finally took a crap. I've been needing one anyway, but I was saying this was gonna be the last one. But we all know that wasn't true. If I was to get this money out, I probably did it again, but it's cool. So I just went and spent 300 funky ass dollars on a uh, on an engine hoist. But it's all good. Though. I'm about to put this one to work. Ugh. One piece, two piece. Now I can get it done. I hate leaving the shop, man. Once I leave, it takes out literally like two hours out of the damn day every single time. Well, there she is. About a good, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, four hours. I don't know how long it's been. There she go. Had to put them final touches on her. Now that's what I call an engine hoist. Now I'm trying to put her to the test.
Oh boy. Brand new pistons. Got that braking oil. Whew. Oh yeah. Got to get ready for you, boy. <laughs> got that short block done. Got to go install the lifters. Install the cam and all that. And then, yeah, man. Trying to get this thing on the road. Look at that, boy. Oh, got a nice little home. All right, so that's the that's the harmonic balancer. That's the crank pulley right there, right? The crank bolt. And uh, they they uh, welded a piston to it, and they pick it up with the, <laughs> that's that's tight, bro. I'm about to have to make me a table. So I got the cam put in. Everything's all done. Now I'm about to put these uh, these lifters in. And after that, put the head gas on and heads on and blah, blah, blah. Sucking for about, you feel that oil? For a minute. Hey, cuz, I'm making a video. I'm making a video, bro. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's all good. So, yeah, man. I got this, uh, these things just drenched. That's what you want them, man. You want these things to soak, man. They say 72 hours, but hey. A week will not hurt it. More time when I hurt down. I'm gonna put that on with the impact. Let me get the tan real quick. Take that off and drop these things in there. These things been sucking for like damn near two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Easy 400. You know what I'm talking about? Here's all the gas that I'm facing. There's the head bolts. I'm about to actually torque this side down. I got to find my damn uh, marker so I can uh, angle these damn things. And after that, we get started on that other side. Put the heads on and all that. So it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be a 6.0. 6.0 LQ9 stage 2 cam 243 heads 4L80 E transmission 243s 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 and uh oh also it has a uh, has springs as well I had to take the other ones off and put these ones on when you guys put your head gasket on you cannot mess this up it tells you the front right there, so just make sure those are in the front and basically place your head on right on top of that. This is this side. The little B goes at the bottom. See right there. So we slap the other head on so I can torque button to place this thing on in that engine stand and get it done real quick so I can be done and go get some. Man, dude, I need a marker so I can um I need a damn marker and I can't find one so I can angle these heads the right way. Man, damn, dude. This is gonna mess it up. I need to put a line on every single one of these. They're not talking about they ain't put the nail through. But I need to uh, put a line on every single one of those so I can start, uh, I should've did it before I installed them, but. Yeah, on oh, another thing, once you put your cam in also, make sure your timing is A1. You want this dot right here. And it's another one down there. See that? That little dot right there. Want to make sure those are aligned straight up. Otherwise, your timing be off, and this thing will never start or start, but it'll sound crappy. Let me find a damn marker though, real quick. I'm gonna have to go buy one. Not a marker, but hell, it's better than nothing. What up, y'all? It's taking me a long time to do this. I can't do too much recording because I, I actually wanted to get the motor in the car today, and that's not going to happen. So 
I'm gonna just show you guys a little bit. There's the new seal. There's the seal that's going behind it. Make sure you use a silicone, uh, not silicone, but uh, you want to use your uh, Teflon tape. And uh, that's basically it. Got the gaskets on and all that stuff. Got that side hip uh, torqued and angled and everything. But this side, they gave me the wrong bolts for the uh, whatever side that is, man. So I'm about to finish doing this, get this thing going, and I'll show you guys the install before I uh, install it in the car. So I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Check this out. Check this out, y'all. Got everything bolted down. Oh, here looking like a, uh, what you call that thing? The LSX block. The only thing that stopped me from bolting it in is I need the, the right tool to uh, bolt that down. Uh, basically, tighten that in. That's like for your turbo oiling system and stuff like that. But the motor is complete. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Trying to get it done. Put the rear seal on, which I have. Put the ADE behind it and slap it on in.